Welcome to NHL Draft Pros. On today's video, I'll be doing a Matthew Wood scouting report. He's a big offensive threat who was the youngest player in college hockey and put up almost a point a game as a freshman. Wow. So stick around and let's see what makes Matthew Wood one of the top prospects for the 2023 NHL Draft. As always, please subscribe and hit the like button to help the channel grow. And if you go to the community button on the homepage, we do all kinds of fun stuff like the community mock draft coming up on May 8th. Yes, join that, please. It's a lot of fun. Vote on who you think is going to go to what team. Check that out. Okay, Matthew Wood. He played at UConn. He's 6'3", almost 6'4", 193 pounds. He shoots right and plays the center position, but he does also play the wing. And if we check out his draft rankings... NHL Central Scouting has him as number four for North American skaters. Yep, he climbed up big time. TSN Bob McKenzie has him at number 14, McKean's 24, Elite Prospects 21, The Hockey News 16, and Sportsnet 21. Now check out these numbers. So just want to point out, this past season he had 34 points in 35 games. He led UConn in points as a 17-year-old. He was the youngest player, like I said, in college. And last year in the BCHL, which is probably the best junior A tier two hockey league in Canada. He had 85 points in 46 games. He actually led the league, the whole league as a rookie in points. Amazing. And like I said, he led UConn as a 17 year old. So those are impressive numbers right there. He's definitely has some offensive capabilities. Okay. As always, we're going to check out his skating, shooting, passing, puck control, compete level, and what he needs to improve upon. So the first part is the skating, and it's probably the weakest part of his game. He's definitely going to have to work on the skating, but he's young. So you'll see in this clip here, he'll pick up the puck, and then he's off to the races. And you'll see that uh, one player there catches up to him, 22, but he still gets actually a nice goal there, even with the guy on his back. But, you know, these big kids, they tend to take a little longer to develop and prove their skating. So he's got some time. But look at this one here. See, that guy gets away from him. So he's got to develop uh, definitely quickness, his, his acceleration. And this one here, I want to show, like, his edge work. And how he's hard to push off the puck. See that? So he, he's doing good here. And then he gets it back to the D there. So that wasn't too bad. But definitely something he needs to work on is his skating. He'll have to improve his acceleration. All right, shooting. Matthew Wood is a shooter. And he has a deadly accurate shot. Watch this one. Boom! Ha <laughs> ha! Nice shot. Close up. Yes, we love it. Look at that. Just picks a corner. No problem. He's got some power in those shots. And he can score from a variety of locations. As you'll see in these clips. So this one here, he's going to pick it up along the board. So I just wanted to show, he spins off right there, gets in a slot, in, and it's in. The, the goal, he had no chance. Wow. Yep, that wrist shot, accuracy and power. And he can pick those corners, no problem at all. This one here, same thing. He's going to pick it up top of the circle. And look at that. What a shot. So he's definitely got a cannon for a wrist shot. That is some nice heat on that bad boy. One timer alert. Watch out. Here it comes. Boom. Ha <laughs> ha. Woo. Love the one timer. Yep. And I think that was his first NCAA goal. What a goal. Nice shot. All right. Passing. You know what? We shouldn't discount his playmaking abilities as he led the Huskies in assists for the season. So see this play right here? That's a nice example of that. So he catches it off the skates. That's impressive. And he drops it back to Barlow and he just roofs it. You'll see from another angle here. Watch this. So off the skates and then waits, looks, and then just at the right second there, he pops it over and they score. So he's definitely got some playmaking abilities too there. And this one here, you can see waits one second, just fakes out the goalie just for a split second there. And then he dishes it over and wide open net for his teammate. Like, look at that. Can't get any easier than that. Nice pass. You know, he's got some good hockey IQ, right? So that helps in terms of passing. So this one here, he's going to wait, wait. There's four guys on him, and then he dishes it off into the slot. So nice play there. A little patience. Again, that hockey IQ, knowing where he is on the ice. So he gets it right here. Look at this. There's four guys around him, and he dishes it off, and they score. So perfect. Okay, puck control, stick handling. Yep, he's got some nice mitts for a big man, and he can manipulate the opposing play. Look at that. Look at that. Let's see that in slow motion. He can manipulate the opposing players. Watch this. Oh, nice. And then look at weights, weights, and then right in the slot and they score. Come on. That's a nice little play right there. All right, this one here, you're going to see this is at the uh, U18s. Look at that little, little sneaky hand 
sneaky hands right there, and then he dishes it off to Celebrini, who buries it for the OT. Well, this is for the bronze medal, actually, and that's a nice goal right there. Yep, they just brought the home the bronze with that one. Nice play. So, and like I said, the other thing is, is you know, he's good at receiving passes, and this one here, he's going to go through a bunch of guys. So, look, it runs out of options, turns it around, and then passes it across to the open guy on the weak side. That's a nice play right there. So, and they get a scoring chance. Again, this one here, you're going to see he's going to pull it off the boards here. He's got a guy all over his back. Look at this. Look at this. And then it's out. Zone exit. So you see that? Slow motion here. He's got a guy all over him. Another stick in there. And he still manages to keep the puck and pass it out. Perfect. So nice hands. Compete. Yes. But he's got some decent compete level. There are things that he needs to work on. And we'll talk about that and what he needs to improve. But you see right here, look at the back check. Hustling back, hustling back. So fighting along the boards. He's pretty hard to push off the puck. And you got to remember, he's 17-year-old playing against men, basically, in the NCAA. This one here, same thing. So he's got the guy all over him. I already showed this clip. This was kind of like the skating the edge work, but see how he's got the guy all over, and he gets it back to the D. So that's nice. Same thing here. You're going to see his back check right there. Look, okay, and then he says, pick that guy up. Okay, I got him. And he blocks the pass. So nice little play there. So again, good hustle back, and you see his skating there. He needs to work on his skating, but... Good, good hustle on the way back and to recognize that that guy was open. So defensively, he's pretty good. So this one here, I'm going to show you the defensive part of his game. So he sees that his D pinches and he covers for him. Then he regroups, comes back in. Nope, D pinches again, so he covers it for him again. So good defensive responsibility. You know, he's a pretty good 200-foot player, I guess you could say. And um, so you like to see that in young player. All right, what he needs to improve upon. So there's a few things that we want to work on. So the first thing right here, soft along the boards. So that was just a little poke check there. They, he got lucky they got out, but watch. Little poke check there, no body. A little physicality there. Maybe just, you know, kind of attack a little bit more. Here, same thing you're going to see. He's just a little poke check there, but they come out and they get a scoring chance because of that, right? So I'd like to see a little bit more work along the boards. Puck battles, basically. A little more physicality in his game. He's a big kid. Same thing here you're going to see. He's going to go after the puck. Loses the battle. Pops out. And then the other team gets the puck. Okay, and then you can see he's going to go into the front of the net there or the corner here and then loses it again. So a little bit better work along the boards. He's young. He's got to get a little stronger. He's got to grow into his body. So here, this one here, a little too much, a little easy pass there, and then they get, and then they get a scoring chance from that. So trying too much sometimes. Um, this one here, same thing. He's gonna, they're going to drop the puck back to him, and then he's going to try to skate through five guys here, and then he loses a puck. So a couple of things that he needs to work on, definitely. All right, his strengths, like I said, shot, passing, offensive forward for sure, big power forward with some nice hands, uh, his puck handling, stick handling. He definitely can control the puck. And once he gets stronger and, and you know better on his skates, watch out. You're going to be hard to knock him off. Uh, his positioning and hockey IQ, he's pretty good at realizing where he needs to be on the ice, which is good, right? You want someone who's responsible, especially defensively, and he's got that. So that's that's a good thing to have for a young player, and it helps that he plays in the NCAA. All right, what he needs to work on, the number one thing, skating. He just has to develop a little bit more explosiveness, acceleration. Once he gets moving, he's not bad, and that's true for a lot of players that have some issues with skating, you know. And I've read that, you know, He's comparable to Tage Thompson, maybe uh, Jason Robertson, guys that you know took a little time to develop their skating. So if he can develop that, watch out. Puck battles, like I said, along the boards, he's a little soft sometimes. We want a little more physicality. Use your body to kind of get in there. I guess, you know, against men in the NCAA, it's a little harder. And he was better when he played at the U18s, but still I want to see a little bit, a little better on the boards, basically, along the wall. All right, and, and rushing plays, some of those high-end players, they try to do too much on their own sometimes when there's a s easier play, and he's no he's no exception. So, But those are little things that you can fix. Ranking-wise, I'm a little torn. I, you know, 10 to 20, possibly. I think a lot of people have some high expectations from him. So it's going to be interesting to see where you know where he goes in the, in the draft for sure. Uh, I'd say anywhere in that range. Top 10, possibly, possibly not. And that's it. So please subscribe, hit the like button to help us grow. Much appreciated. We'll see you soon. Cheers.